Yo, what is good, guys? It is your boy Jason JV saying welcome to another WWE 2K22 My Rise video. And yes, yes, y'all, as you can see, we are about to hit up my man Drew Gulak to see what he has going on. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into this next video. talk to you. <clears throat> I know you've had some success here on SmackDown, but I have some constructive criticism if you're mature enough to handle it. I'd like to think I am. What is it? I found some holes in your game. Several, in fact. And if you don't repair those holes, they'll get bigger and bigger and you'll never make it to the next level. Really? Yes, really. You can ignore what I'm saying and accept mediocrity, or you can take my advice, train hard, and better yourself. I don't know. What do you get out of all this? Other than the satisfaction of helping someone become the best version of themselves? Potentially a tag team partner. But only if you accept my help and address your weaknesses. I can make a slideshow if it'll help make this any clearer. I don't think that will be necessary. Okay, so what's your answer? Do you want my help or no? I mean, I, I would tell him to, you know... To um, uh, how can I say this in the most nicest, friendliest way to go um, fuck himself. But anyway, uh, we kind of need this story, so let's do this. I want to be the best I can be, so let's do this. Great, great. I'm going to run you through an intense program of challenges that will pinpoint and correct each of your weaknesses. First up, your toughness. From what I've seen, it's lacking. Agree to disagree. Agree to disagree. No. no. Agree, to agree, agree to agree. To fix this, to fix this deficiency, I want you to go start a fight with Riddle and win. Got it? All right. Training day. What, what is Drew Gulak playing the role of, of uh, Denzel Washington's character or what? Whoa, from behind. They're going to settle this right now. Oh! No! Ow. We may be witnessing absolute mayhem, guys. Screw you. All right. That's right. Bring your barefooted ass up here. Table. The table. Yeah. I think we know what's coming next. Into the trash can. Uh-uh. I don't think so, bro. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Oh, you punk. There we go. Bare feet and all. <laughs> Trying to find his bearings, but it looks like his end is near. The end is near. Oh, into the chairs. You guys are so cute. Let's get this other table. Damn. Matt is getting all kinds of torn up. You know what I'm saying? We put him through the massage table earlier. We put him through the wooden table. Uh oh, let me put this down. Put that chair down. Smart guy. Back down. Oh, man. Looks like he has something planned with his table, guys. I don't want to know. Trust me, it's a lot better to see oh, than to hear. <laughs> this fight is pumping him up. Let's go. 
That's right. Come on, riddle. Riddle me this, riddle. What falls really high and has a huge impact on some wood. Oh, bitch! You don't. Hey, stop. Okay, just stop. Yep, punk ass. Get your ass up here. Want to answer my riddle for me? Huh? Press the wrong button. Damn it. Um, I am, but I don't think Riddle does. Definitely not where you want to be. Bye bye. <laughs> you know, I was gonna make a joke about a certain type of bird, but then I don't think that'll be appropriate. You know what I'm saying? Because you know, people don't like comedy these days. I saw what you did against Riddle. Could have been worse. I took down one of the toughest guys on the roster, and that's all you can say. It was a step in the right direction. But you have more leaks in your boat to repair if you want to be the best version of yourself. Dude, I smashed him through like three different tables. Come on now. Okay, so what leak are we fixing next? I see holes in your submission game. Prove me wrong in a submission match. And I'll be out there watching in person. So no shortcuts. Because shortcuts are bad. No, no, we've been over this. If you take, if you shortcuts, take shortcuts, you get cut you short. Get cut short. Now, come on, now come on, start paying attention don't and don't let me down. You know what? As corny as that sounds, that actually makes a lot of sense. Take shortcuts, you get cut short. That's actually a pretty deep philosophy. I can't lie. <clears throat> Woo! Come on, Cesaro. Crossface. Now, what were you saying about my submission game? Nice win in the submission match last week. But when I was out there, I noticed you rely on reversals way too much. That's a hole in your game I didn't even know existed. You're turning out to be a bigger project than I thought. Bro, what match were you watching? <sighs> You're not giving up on me, are you? No, never. It's just going to take more work than anticipated. First, let's nip this reversal issue in the bud. In your next match, you're not allowed to use any reversals. Got it? I mean, I, 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 I guess. Freaking. Crap. Yep, and no shortcuts, because if you take shortcuts, you get cut short. There just might be hope for you after all. Get off me. So I gotta win this match without using reversals. I think we can manage that. I think we can. Wait a minute, didn't I use a reversal? Oh no, I didn't. Okay. All right, that was another squash match, so there was no chance of me using reversals. You're progressing nicely with your training, but we still have more to fix. Okay, what's next, coach? We talked a lot about shortcuts, and one of the ultimate shortcuts in sports <clears throat> entertainment is top rope maneuvers. You might remember my presentations on the risks these moves involve and my support of the no-fly zone. So let me guess, I'm at the wrestle a, a strong style match. Of course, how could I forget the NFZ? Abbreviations are verbal shortcuts. Oh, right. Sorry. So your next match will be contested under no fly zone rules for both you and your opponent. Let's see if your ground game can get the job done. But what if I want to fly like the eagle? Like, that's, that's kind of my thing. I like to fly. I 
have some bad news. You failed the Drew Gulak training program. What do you mean? I did everything you told me to do. I passed all your tests. Sorry. You just don't have what it takes. There were too many holes to fix and not enough time. I'll need to look elsewhere for a partner. No, I will not accept this. I'm light years better than I was when we started training together, and you know it. Okay, okay. You passed your final test. Good job. Huh? Your last weakness was perseverance, but you just refused to accept failure. You're now truly ready to be my partner. Congratulations. I'm proud of you. Thanks. All right, now that the easy part is over, let's get to work. We have our first match teaming together next week. If you apply everything you learn, we'll be holding tag team gold in no time. Go celebrate for a few minutes, then we'll start breaking down film on our opponents. This is going to be fun. My idea of fun would be to put your ass through a table. Get the filthy hands off of me! Oh, I freaking landed right where he was at and it didn't count the elbow drop. Ain't that some shit? more bro what the hell was that oh my god really we're ignoring shots now okay fuck that you eat my foot motherfucker for all that nonsense all right you, you ain't gonna believe this time but you know what that's all right i'm still gonna put your ass over the edge come on drew damn it Come on, dude. There we go. Busted open. That's what I wanted. Come on, jazz up. Apollo, if you care about your boy at all, you let it be over. Come 
There we go. <clears throat> I'm glad he did that. I'm actually glad he did that. Oh, we talking major ass whooping of a lifetime. You trained with your partner for weeks and finally teamed together tonight for the first time. But then, for some reason, you attacked him after the match. Can you explain why? I'd be happy to. You see, when we were training together, everything was so easy for him, okay? No matter what test or challenge I threw at him, he passed with flying colors. And the whole time, he had this attitude about it, almost like he was doing me the favor instead of the other way around. And then, when we finally teamed together, he just had to get the win, right? It was his way of trying to one-up me, because he thinks he's so great. Well, I've got news for him. He's not, and I'll prove it. Because he thought he passed all the tests? Well, he didn't. I'm the final test. And this time, he's going to fail. So, you're challenging him to a match? Yes, but not just any match. I want to see if he actually learned anything. So I'm proposing a match with no shortcuts allowed, which means no running, no escaping the ring, and no top rope moves. Now we'll find out who's got holes in their game and who doesn't. So no running, no top rope moves, and I forgot the other thing. Put whatever restrictions on me you want, Drew. It doesn't matter. I'll still beat you. Challenge accepted. No shortcuts. Somebody about to get their ass cut short, all right. Damage Drew with attacks, which means we're going to lose. Because, you know, video game. No running, no escaping the ring, and no top rope moves. Okay. Okay, come on, dude. You're winning the match anyway. What the hell? Oh, that looks like a torturous position to Get me the hell out of here! Finally making some progress and Get the hell off of me! Jackass. Drew Gulak with the Irish whip on his former student. Wait, was that legal in this match? He tripped over the ropes. Yeah, but the referee down, Gulak is showing you exactly. All right, you little rule breaker, you. You gonna tap for me. Bipolar ass crowd. First they were booing me that I won, then they cheered me after I won. So training day is complete. I think we got time for another one. I don't think I've had the chance to tell you this, but I actually see a lot of potential in you. In fact, you kind of remind me of myself. Highly athletic, super likable, intercontinental champion, or former in my case. You just need that extra push to get you to the next level. And do. I, I don't know what kind of mic you're using when you recorded that, but that is the shittiest quality I've heard so far. You got you got people like Dana Brooke who actually re read their script when they recorded. 
And you got this dude recording on a shitty ass mic. Thanks. Thanks. No problem. And in fact, since we're so, since we're so compatible, I think I could actually help you make that leap. So what do you say? I say you need to quit doing your freaking uh, McDonald's drive through um, impression and start talking with your regular voice. I wasn't really looking for help, but I guess I'm willing to give it a shot. Great. From now on, I'll be at ringside for all your matches to assist you as needed. Okay, but I really just want you out there in a coach type role. Nothing hands on, if you know what I mean. Of course, say no more. Totally understand. I really feel like this is the start of something special. See you out there. A new mentor. I'm just saying, Sami Zayn is one of the top competitors in WWE. He couldn't afford a, a, a decent mic. Why do I feel like I'm going to be screwed in this match? Oh, come on now. Get your hands off me. You bitch. Were you perhaps trying to do this? Let Gable attempt to pin you? Are you serious now? Alright, why isn't he going for a pin? Appreciate that assist. <clears throat> Get your hands off Oh, come on! I gave you enough liberty! Let's go! Jackass! See, this is why I can't give people an inch, man. They always want a mile. Got enough for a sig. Get your punk ass the hell up. Alright, we're about to take him over the edge. Jason, Jay, <clears throat> V. 
that, that was amazing. I mean, I thought you were talented before, but seeing you up close made me realize just how special you really are. Seriously, dude, invest into a new mic. Yeah. Yeah. That was a nice win. But what was up with you breaking up that pin? I thought we had an agreement that you were just out there to observe. Nothing hands on. That was blatant cheating. Bruh! We, we, we got to walk away with the title. Man, don't, don't, don't look a gift horse in the mouth. What the hell? Whoa, whoa. No need to throw around the C word like that. Look, I only did what I did as a last resort. You were going to lose your Intercontinental Championship. And besides, you would have done the exact same thing. We're pretty much the same person, remember? Um, I don't think so. I'm starting to have my doubts about that. <clears throat> and what you did wasn't necessary. I was going to kick out. We can go back and watch a tape. I'm not so sure you had things under control. Yeah, well, I'm not so sure I can trust you. Where is this coming from? You won the match Facts. and you're still changing. Facts. We have a good thing going. Don't ruin Facts. it. Facts. And I promise I have nothing but the best intentions for you. I don't know. Look, I have an idea how we can erase your doubts and help strengthen our bond a bit. Next week, we're going to team up together. Okay? Sound good? Yeah. Sounds good. Bro, see, this, this is why we, we, we keep burning bridges. Here in the WWE, man. Who the hell am I kidding, man? Every time I trust somebody, they always stab me in the back. So, can't be too careful. I said, get your ass the hell up. You know what? Okay, that took forever. I probably should hit A. Another huge win. See? What did I tell you from the beginning? When we're working together, no one can stop us. That was definitely a nice win. But there was one thing that bothered me. Here we go again. Now what? Well, it just seemed like you were insisting on getting the win out there. It just made me think like maybe this isn't so much about helping me as it is about advancing your own career. Maybe I got caught up in the moment, but it's a tag team match. Emphasis on team. It doesn't matter who wins as long as we win, right? He's got a point there. Yeah, no, you're right, I guess. Anyway, enough about that. I've got something super cool lined up for you next week. Part of you reaching the next level is being able to beat opponents you're not familiar with. So that's why I got this mask guy, El Ordinario, coming in to face you. He can really go from what I've heard, so make sure you bring your A-game. Okay, sounds interesting. I will. Oh, and there's one other thing. I, I can't believe I almost forgot to tell you this. I'm actually getting my wisdom teeth out next week, so I won't be out there in your corner. You'll have to face Ordinario on your own. But don't worry, you'll be fine. He's going to be Ordinario. Sure, right. This isn't weird at all. Right? Weird? It's a totally normal sequence of events. You got this. See you out there, Ordinario. Chase, hey, I'm a little worried about you. You think you can really trust Sammy? Don't know. Thought I could, but now he's got this masked guy coming next week, and when conveniently he's out, seems shady. Whoa, super shady. Uh, you think it will be him under the mask? Maybe. He does have a history of that sort of thing. Yeah, I mean, 2K19 reference. Uh, plus, he said he was getting his wisdom teeth out. I don't buy it. Was this all some kind of scheme for him to beat you for your IC title? I don't know. Maybe. Uh, be careful. Hey, I think 
Hey, I could be in your corner if you want. Thanks, but I can take care of myself. Hope so. I'll be watching. I appreciate Chafe having my back at least. 100 bucks says it's Sami Zayn. What did I tell you? Did I call it or did I call it? You can tell that Sami Zayn. El Ordinario. And introducing the champion from San Jose, California, weighing in at 267 pounds. He is the WWE Intercontinental Champion, the Outlaw, Jason J. V. <clears throat> Alrighty, El Ordinario. About to whip that Ordinario Navigaz. Wait, you failed the objective. Let your opponent get some offense in to advance the story. Huh? It says clearly win by pinfall or submission. It doesn't say anything about letting your opponent get some offense in. All right, you got your offense in. Let's try this again. And he got some offense this this time, man. Let's go. You fail the following agenda. Let your opponent get some offense in to advance the story. Oh my god, man. What the hell? Oh, I finally get this little piece of interference in my favor for once? Okay, nice. If that's not Sami Zayn, then who is that? That is brother? Alright. Got one more in the tank. Let's go. This match is over finally. Hey, hey big win over El Ordinario. Ordinario. You really stepped up and answered the challenge. Thanks, but I thought you weren't going to be here this week. What happened with your wisdom teeth? Oh, I actually recovered much quicker than I thought I would and decided last minute to come support you. I barely made it in time, which is why I came out in the middle of the match. I know you haven't approved of all my methods, so I hope that was okay. No, it was. And if we're being honest, I actually have something to tell you. I kind of thought maybe this whole thing with the unknown opponent and your wisdom teeth seemed a little shady. And this is crazy, but I thought you were going to be under the mask. Oh. Really? It just got me thinking that this was all some big scheme to try to take my intercontinental title. And now I feel terrible. I never really gave you a fair chance. No, no, it's okay, and don't feel bad. I've definitely done some shady things before, so I can see why you'd think all that. Sorry. Sorry. Stop, it's okay. Let's just get past this, all right? 
I'll be back in your corner next week and we'll pretend like nothing ever happened. You've got enough to worry about with defending your title and you don't need any other distractions. Okay, thanks. You're right. Sounds good. Elias again? Two, three. Look at that time. Bust him up with the elbow. Dunskis. And here's where Sammy betrays us. Here's where he betrays us. Told you. What was that all about? I have no idea. Why should I be a good person and try to help you if you won't even give me a chance, huh? Answer me. There's no point to any of this. From now on, I'll just be what you and everyone else thinks I am. A shady liar, a cheat, and the man who is going to take your title. for the Intercontinental Champion. Did I say the champion was on a roll with Sammy? Yeah, I meant collision course. Told y'all, I saw that shit coming. Some of these stories be predictable. If you didn't hear me, JV, I'll say it again. You never gave me a chance, so from now on, I'm going to be who everyone thinks I am. I don't need friends or approval. I just want your title. I understand you being upset, but can't understand what you did. Thought we were past all that. Nope, and now I know all your weaknesses and I'm going to exploit them. You did. You don't deserve to reach the next level and I'm going to make sure of that by taking your title. Fine. You want a shot at me? Let's do this. Bro, I've been betrayed so many times, man. I'm practically used to it, so. Ain't no weaknesses, ain't no weaknesses that you can exploit. I'm just saying. Come on, Sammy. So you ain't got nothing. You got nothing. Get your ass up. Get up. Booyah. And... 
to us. Sir. <coughs> Rock bottom. And we ain't done yet. Trying to take you over the edge. Outlaws edge. There we go. Done, son. Here is your winner, and still the WWE Intercontinental Champion, the Outlaw, Jason J. V. Yep. And that seemed like a pretty easy day at the office right there. This is what you get when you have complete confidence. Like what were you saying, Sammy, about not reaching the next level? Bruh. I've already surpassed your ass. I've already held main event gold. On two brands. I don't think Sammy can say, say that. <laughs> Clearly, I wasn't fully recovered from my wisdom teeth procedure. Uh-huh. Uh, but I am. But when I am, which will be very soon, I demand a rematch, JV. Okay, Sammy, whatever. Uh, I've mostly stayed out of it, but out of this, but if Sammy's getting a rematch, then the IC champ gets to pick the stipulation. It's only fair. Let me know, JV. Uh, see here. Extreme rules, false count anywhere. We, for damn sure, ain't doing a ladder match, man. Not until 2K fixes the ladder match issues. Uh, let's do extreme rules. I'll beat Sammy uh, again. When he's ready in an Extreme Rules match. Okay, I'll make it happen. Uh, you're going to be extremely disappointed. Yeah, we'll see about that. Me is going to lose. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. From Montreal, Quebec, Canada. Weighing in at 212 pounds. Sammy And introducing the champion from San Jose, California, weighing in at 267 pounds. He is the WWE Intercontinental Champion, the Outlaw, Jason J. V. Tonight continues the tradition of the highly coveted Intercontinental Championship. Its holder is frequently considered by many as the hardest working champion in all of sports entertainment. I don't think so. Yeah, planning him on his ass. Eat that knee. Finna knock out more of his teeth. Boom, another knee. Look at that. Too far, Sammy. Knocking out more teeth. <laughs> Your ass up. Come on up. Ugh, to the table. Oh, what the hell? So the B button doesn't do anything on that reversal. Okay, good to know. <laughs> Punk ass. Oh. Dude, come on. Strip that table down. Okay, can we uncover the table now, please? Thank you.
shoot. Oh, boy, he's talking him. Watching for an opening. That should have bust him open, man. That's just a freaking stiff mat out there. Nope. Sorry. Not this time. You're more than welcome to get back on your feet, though. Steps at him. Let's go. Glad you didn't fall to your feet. Because I want to finish you off right here. Booyah! Your feet. Let's go. Oh yeah. Here is your winner. And the table broke again. Yeah, baby. So new mentor story is complete. And man, I just realized between NXT and Raw so far, I mean just those two shows alone, I've held five titles. Three on Raw. Two on NXT, one on SmackDown, so that brings us up to six belts. Meaning, if I win the Universal Championship, which will happen, I'll have I'll, I would have held uh, seven championships. Man, that's crazy. Yeah. Anyway, I think this will be a good stopping point. That was a pretty big story. Uh, so this is probably gonna be a fairly long video. Uh, so yeah, really appreciate you guys hanging out, watching, and uh, yeah, don't forget to of course like, comment, and of course subscribe. Don't forget to have your bell notification set to all so you never miss an upload. All that fun stuff. And don't forget to check out, of course, all the links in the video description down below. That would be greatly appreciated. Till the next one, y'all have a blessed one. Peace.